Cleanup will take days, even weeks following that tornado that ripped through parts of Rockingham County on Friday. WFM News News Jenna Krasina has spent days in one of the hardest hit areas. Jenna, sounds like they're making some pretty good progress already. Yeah, Chad, in each neighborhood, you can find different people doing different things to clean up where they live. You can see that this cleanup process is going to take a while. There are down trees just about everywhere you go. Debris everywhere, chainsaws firing off in different neighborhoods as people continue that cleanup. Now, Friday night, crews could not get down this specific road here, but now it's cleared. Most roads are cleared in the area, but you will see a lot of those down trees and debris throughout the county. The good news, though, still no reports of any injuries, and community members are coming together to help those in need. What we have had our storms come through. But uh, Friday's was, was pretty scary. Heavy damage, fallen trees, debris lingers after a tornado touchdown in Rockingham County. The emergency services director says it was 300 yards wide and on the ground for about eight miles, with winds topping out at more than 100 miles per hour. You, so you can just see the amount of the damage here. Just look at these trees. Rockingham County Sheriff Sam Page says the community is stepping up to help each other out. Because of that, he thinks the cleanup will move a little faster. North Carolina Baptist Mission is working with Samaritan's Purse to help with that process, prioritizing those with the greatest needs. If it's affecting your way of life or if it's, a, say, medically needed, you got somebody that the driveway's blocked, even if it's a small tree, the driveway's blocked, they have nobody to cut it, and they're on dialysis, or they got doctor's appointments. We're going to prioritize that highest. First responders are also still going around doing assessments. The fact that we had no injuries is certainly the, the blessing within this. You can repair houses, we can repair landscape, we can have debris removal, um, but you can't replace those lives. Emergency management says all roads are now open in the county, but as people continue to clean up, you definitely want to be mindful of all the different areas.